Hi everyone, my name is Chris and I'm here to give you a quick review of the Anki app for your iPhone. Um, so a little bit about the app, it's $25 but I think it's well worth it. Uh, I was kind of apprehensive about buying it when I first saw the price but um, being in med school I think it's really helped me out a lot so I'll just give you guys a quick tour. So here we go. This is the screen that you're going to see when you first sign into the app with your Anki web account. That's how you're going to synchronize it with your desktop. So if you tap the bar icon in the top right, it's going to give you a lot of statistics about your decks. So review count, review time, intervals, answer buttons, card types, so on and so forth. You can really dive deep with uh, the statistics that they give you. I'm going to tap the gear icon in the top right. And there's tons of settings that you can change. So syncing, that's where you're going to sign in with your account. Uh, you can change review settings, general. Uh, you can change the theme, blue dark, I like dark, uh, profiles, backups, so on and so forth. And then in the bottom left you can add or export your decks. So lots of options. Um, you can import from iTunes, export to iTunes, and then synchronize is in the bottom right so that's how you're going to sync it with your desktop. So after you're done studying or before you start studying on your phone just tap that synchronize button and by the time you get back to your laptop it'll all be synced up so it's awesome like that. So looking at your list of decks, you can see in the green, that's the number of reviews that you have, and then the blue is the number of new cards. Um, you tap the plus, and you can see sub-decks. So I'm going to go into my step one deck, and then sub-decks. So I'm going to show you guys what studying looks like real quick. So I'm going to tap my equations deck. So a little bit about this screen. This is what you're going to see when you study. So this is a closed card, just like you would see on the desktop. Um, you can add cards from the screen, so I'm going to tap add. And then this is your editing screen, so I'm going to do testing the Anki app. Okay, great. So I'm going to select the word app, and then if I tap these brackets, you can make a close card. Uh, you can bold, you can underline, italicize. Um, you can use the microphone. I don't have it set up, but you can also uh, add photos from your, either your camera or your camera roll. And then you can change the card type. So I have lots of types here and then change the deck that you're adding it to as well. So this is your editing screen. It's pretty basic, but it's full functional. So I'm going to save that, and it's going to say added. Uh, click cancel right there. So again, this is your studying screen. Um, you can click find, and it'll search the deck that you have. So I'm going to search for testing. And that's the card that I just made, so it comes right up. And then you can click tools. And it's going to let you change a bunch of things about the way that you're studying. So you can mark the current card, you can bury the card, you can do uh, custom study, look at de deck statistics, um, study options. So you can change the options for your deck. Tons of different things you can do. So I'm going to go back to the study screen. Um, tap the screen and it'll show you the answer. So this answer is actually a screenshot that I took. So the cool thing is when you have pictures you can actually pinch and zoom. So I really like that feature. So you can pinch and zoom in or pinch and zoom out. And then at the bottom you have your basic answer choices like just like you would on the desktop version. So I'm going to tap two months because I feel pretty good about that. And I'm just going to go through a bunch of cards just to show you how quick it is. It's very fast so it's perfect to use You know, if you're waiting in line at the grocery store or you're on the subway or something like that. All right. And then at the bottom here, you can see in blue, blue number is the number of new cars that you still have to do, and then the green is the number of reviews, and then the red is what you're currently trying to learn. So I'm going to go back, and then you can synchronize after you're done studying. That's about it, guys. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it has all the features of the desktop version, so I highly suggest you guys get it. Uh, I think it's really made me more productive being in school. Um, Every minute counts. So, thanks for watching.